You may have seen longer lines than usual at Chick-fil-A. On Wednesday, thousands of people flocked to its 1,600 <laughs> restaurants to support the head of the company. As Manuel Borekis reports, he continues to come under fire for his opposition to same-sex marriage. Thank you, Mr. Harry. From South Carolina to Texas and Ohio, Chick-fil-A supporters turned out in force Wednesday to stand up for the fast food chain. Thousands and thousands of people. But it wasn't just about the chicken. Marriage is between one man and one woman. Many showed up to back Dan Cathy, Chick-fil-A's president and COO. He ignited a firestorm back in June when he spoke out against same-sex marriage. I think we're inviting God's judgment on our nation when we shake our fist at him and say, you know, we know better than you as to what constitutes a marriage. Gay rights advocates called for a boycott. The mayors of Boston and Chicago also took a stand. It's not what I believe, but it's more importantly, it's not what the people of the city of Chicago believe. But on Facebook, more than 600,000 people answered former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee's call for a Chick-fil-A Appreciation Day. This is where I just want to take a stand on God's word and come here and have a meal. So that's it. Huckabee put in his order. So did other conservatives, including Congresswoman Michelle Bachman and Senator Lindsey Graham. Sarah Palin even went last week then again, Wednesday. Know, but today we're in Phoenix where there's good Chick-fil-A and can't wait to eat those waffle fries and spicy chicken. But Dominic Alvarado, who is gay, feels the tide may turn against the chain. You think this will hurt the chain in the long run? I think so, yeah. Because more people today are more accepting of gay rights and just rights for everybody. Supporters of same-sex marriage plan to counter. They say they will hold a national kiss-in campaign at Chick-fil-A restaurants on Friday. For CBS This Morning, I'm Manuel Bajorquez, Dallas.